do after the break. Um, I, so these are some instructions that you need to listen to very carefully. I know you're thinking about beer. I won't take very long. So, what you need to do during this break is get an alphabet letter from me or that person who's got his hand up over there. Okay? You will get an alphabet letter and uh, three other people, three or four other people, will have that alphabet letter too. So you need to find them once you've got a drink at some point during the break. Once you've found them, you'll come back into this room and be ready to start the next talk. Um, and sit with them with your coat on <coughs> and have your phone, if you have one, app. Okay? Time is of the essence. So it would be brilliant if, uh, yeah, if you could do that on time. <coughs> Just ask me if you've got any questions. I think that's everything. So yeah, thank you again for that uh, uh, activity of finding people, and uh, well done if you found the people that you're meant to be with. And it's okay if you haven't found the people. Uh, what I'm going to do now, before I explain anything more, is I'm going to uh, call out uh, the letter that you have and give you an envelope. So I'm just going to explain to you what's going on, sort of. Right, uh, I'm Ellen, you know that. Um, so I'm a content strategist, but I also have just spent the last year uh, in London, for my sins, working um, very hard doing an MA in theatre practice. And as Danny mentioned, I also specialised in puppetry. Don't worry, I'm not going to be getting you to do any puppetry tonight. But one part of my course was uh, to look at theatre design principles and choreography. So. What I'm going to get you to do in your groups is uh, you'll be looking at the world through the eyes of a choreographer. And a choreographer is really interested in things in space and movement over time. So basically, it's the stories that thing, things or bodies in space tell. Okay? Um, so each group in your envelopes will be using a different design principle. Okay? A theatre design principle. So what I need you to do is set an alarm in your group, or your alarm, uh, for 12 minutes from now. Right, is the alarm set? Good, okay, good. So please pay attention now while I talk you through some policies and procedures. So the policy is, whoever you are, you're the right person to be doing this activity. Whatever you do in this activity, it is the right thing to be doing. Challenge yourself and be prepared to be surprised. Whatever happens is the only thing that could have happened. Whatever you think is the right thing to think, abstract and seemingly irrelevant thoughts are also welcome. Don't forget about your own body as part of the space you inhabit. I read that very well, didn't I? So those rules are also inside your envelope, should you, or policies, should you forget what they are. Now, what's gonna happen? Not yet, but in a moment when you open the envelope, You'll look at the design principle in your envelope and think about what it means. You will go and look for evidence of this principle indoors and outdoors. It can be accidental, on purpose, natural, abstract, concrete, concrete. It can be what you make it. Use the design principle that is in your envelope as a filter for looking at everything around you. When you find evidence of your design principle, take a photo of it. We only need one photo per design principle, okay? So, so there will be instructions and it will say take photo one, photo two, photo three. So one person in your group will take those photos. Okay? Does that make sense? Okay. Um, if you can't find evidence of your design principle, take a photo of literally anything. Okay? It's just, yeah. Um, so, and then post the photo to Twitter, stories in space, that can be a hashtag or an at, um, um, ampersand, no, not ampersand, at sign, uh, using this format. So, stories in space, your principle, your sub-principle, and the image that you've taken. Okay? So, yeah, that's the, that's the hashtag if, if you prefer. Um, so, come back in 10 minutes, which it should roughly be now. Um, let's go.
Thank you so much again for taking part in that. Um, I'm just going to scroll through what we got. Yeah, you didn't know that, did you? You didn't know I was going to show everyone what you were going to... So we have evidence of a solid mass. <laughs> Spatial relationship in the body in relation to architecture. Topography, density. Topography, floor pattern. Time and kinesthetic response. <laughs> Uh, welly twins. <laughs> I like these. We fit in them because we have to. Um, shape, things moving through space. A creative oh, interpretation, very nice. Okay, times, duration. That's nice, I like that. Uh, architecture over time. <laughs> the empty page, later it will be full. Duration. Architecture, solid mass. Speed, what I does drink at. <laughs> Uh, choreography, right there. Uh, shape, interesting curves. Oh, we've got a big picture. Um, gesture, expressive. <laughs> gesture required to do something. Gesture, relation to others. And then one that I did earlier, which is a picture of a hamster. Um, so, uh, I just wanted to ask, uh, just from a couple of people, whoever wants to say anything, uh, what did you get from that? Warmed up. Good. <laughs> Very good. So the exercise made you pay attention to details that you would otherwise normally know for. Lovely, yeah. Yeah. Talking to meeting other people. Great. Yeah. yeah. Everyone's smiling more. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> okay. I'll just uh, show you my last slide then, and then we'll be done. So that sorry if we're running over. Um, so yeah. Um, if you want a more comprehensive explanation of what just happened and the talk that is behind what just happened. Um, I've set up a Tumblr, which is thingsinspaceovertime.tumblr.com. Um, and that will give you background, academic resources, some examples, and uh, also the design principles that are adapted from Anne Bogart's viewpoints, who is a choreographer. Um, thank you very much.